Gavin's broadcast, Christmas edition. I'm Gavin. And I'm Charlie. We had a great week last week with conference basketball for girls and wrestling. The wrestlers, they did really well uh, getting multiple first place is. And <laughs> the seventh grade girls basketball players uh, got first overall. Now let's move on to Christmas traditions. Charlie, what do you do for Christmas? Um, well, we go duck hunting um, about uh, a few days before Christmas, and that's pretty fun. What about you? Well, our family, we draw names for each other, and this year I have my cousin, and we each buy each other a gift, and yeah. So let's go to Coulter and Joy to get the inside scoop. This is Coulter here, and I'm talking with some of the middle school students about what they do for Christmas. What are your guys' Christmas traditions? Uh, my family usually plays Pictionary. Uh, we usually just get together and eat food and gain weight. Well, I usually wake up and then go running towards the Christmas tree with my pajamas still on and just open up Christmas stuff and it's a good time. Hi, I'm Cadence and I am at Whirlin Middle School and on Christmas morning every day we wake up and we open presents from the youngest child to the oldest. On Christmas Eve, I always open the smallest gift and then the rest of them on Christmas morning. Okay, so what we do for Christmas is uh, we always drink eggnog while listening to Christmas music. And on Christmas Eve, uh, um, we open all of our like our family gifts under the tree. And then on Christmas morning, that's whenever we open our, all of our Santa gifts and like our stockings and stuff. And then what my family does on Christmas is um, we open all of our presents and then we go get milkshakes. Milkshakes. And then we go um, look at Christmas lights. And then we'll come back, build forts, and then go to bed and wake up a new Santa. What my family does for Christmas, we always like to buy a thousand piece puzzle, like Christmas puzzles, and we all pu always put them together. And then we usually go to Hallmark that year, and we always get like a special ornament for the tree. Hi, I'm Mrs. Herman, and we do have a couple of Christmas traditions. One being, we meet on Christmas Eve, my family, and we open some presents and have a big meal. And Christmas Day, we invite the community over to our house, and we have a breakfast at our house, and then we have lunch, and we just have a full day of community family fun. Ooh. I'm Mrs. Dorn, and we have um, a tradition of opening one present on Christmas Eve before the whole big thing. And uh, other than that, we do something different every year. So. I'm Mrs. Hunter, and we open one present, too, on Christmas Eve. Sometimes they come over for Christmas Day, and we always try to have prime rib. And then before the kids could look, open their presents, they had to go find baby Jesus in the manger because I would hide it. So they were like the three little wise men. Of course, I don't know if they were always wise. So those are just some of our traditions. Well, a long-standing tradition in our family is we still believe in Santa. And so on Christmas Eve, Santa, everybody has to go to bed early and Santa comes in the night, and then we all have stockings and gifts from Santa on Christmas morning. And our tradition, pre-Christmas, we bake these cookies that my mom used to always bake. They're called Jumbo Jubilees, and um, they have frosting and little sprinkles and stuff on them. And then for Christmas, Christmas Eve, we always go over to my brother's house with our extended family, and then Christmas morning is when we open uh, packages at our house. Well on Christmas Eve we get to open one gift and then the family usually plays games until about midnight and then we go to midnight mass at the church and then on sun, on the next day, Christmas Day, we get to open the rest of the gifts. What my family does for Christmas is um, in the morning we we do our stockings and open up presents and then we go sledding up at Meadowlark and then go to Bear Lodge and have lunch and then we go home and have Christmas dinner. What my family does for Christmas in December, we, well at the beginning of December, we have an advent calendar, my mom wraps little presents in it and then Christmas Eve we go to Christmas Mass and then look at Christmas lights and we, when we get home, we get open one Christmas present and then we go to sleep. My family tradition is uh, usually when I'm with my dad, I go to Six Flags in Dallas. And we usually when I'm with my mom, I go to California, Las Vegas, or somewhere else. For Christmas, I go sledding on Christmas break and eat prime rib and crab. 
I enjoy this season because after Christmas I get more presents because it's my birthday. For Christmas, I have a tradition where my family makes arroz con leche. Hi, my name is Julia and what I do for Christmas is every year we go to our cabin up in Montana and we have an advent box and the elves leave um, little treats in the box and they hide it around either outside or inside and they leave a hint and we just go find it and it's freezing and we always watch the Polar Express on Christmas Eve. So that's what I do for Christmas. Hi, I'm Zachary and well for Christmas for Christmas Eve I usually I usually watch Home Alone with my family. We eat some popcorn. But this year I'm going up to Torrington, so I'm gonna watch it with the rest of my family up there. In Mrs. Kinlan's tech class, the eighth graders created 3D printed projects. For example, a group made this nutcracker. And Charlie had an example too, but I don't know where he is. Jackson. Hi, I'm Sarah. So for our 3D printer project, we chose to do a nutcracker. It took us a while to print, um, to design it on Tinkercad, but we were very impressed with our results. Uh, we had to print it in two different parts because we had trouble getting the legs to stay attached to the normal body, so it was kind of hard. I really enjoyed the, pro the program. Um, I know this may, I thought this would have been easy. It was a really hard project to do. Um, but it's really cool. It teaches you a lot of new things. So let's go get the weather and lunch menu from Catherine and Ethan. Hi, I'm Wendy Weather with the weather for this week and going into early next week. This Saturday should be a little different than we've had in a while with a 70% chance of snow. So it might be a great time to go out with the family and build a snowman. So Sunday should be pretty warm with the 30s. And then going into Monday and Tuesday should be high 30s to 40s. I'm Wendy Weather. Hi, Ethan here with next week's lunch menu. On Monday, we're having biscuits with sausage gravy. On Tuesday and Wednesday, we're just having Cook's Choice. On Thursday, we're having a sausage mash bake. And on Friday, we're having a cheese well, pizza. Another great week with you guys. This is Gavin and Charlie educating Braves minds one day at a time. And make sure to tune in for our next video. And I'm Charlie. Yeah.